Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about type conversion in C++ programming. The conversion of data from one type to another is called type conversion. And there are two ways we can do the conversion. We can do it implicitly by using the implicit conversion, or we can do it explicitly by using the explicit conversion, or it is also called type casting. So first, we're going to talk about the implicit type conversion. The implicit conversion automatically done by the compiler and it is also known as automatic conversion. Like an example, here we have one double variable d with the value 5.6 and in the next line we are assigning the double variable to one integer variable i. Here we are converting from the double variable to integer variable and this is happening automatic by the compiler. Like in another example, we have one integer variable i which has the value 10 and then we are assigning the integer value to one double variable. So here we have one conversion from integer to double and which is happening automatic by the compiler. So in the first example, we are converting from double to integer because we are converting from higher data type to one lower data type, there is gonna be loss of data and in the next example we are converting from integer to double so here we are converting from lower data type to one higher data type so there is gonna be no loss of data so now we are going to talk about explicit type conversion for explicit type conversion we can either use cast notation or we can use the function notation so first we are going to talk about the cast notation as per the cast notation, the data type stays inside the parenthesis and the expression goes outside. And this way we can convert explicitly one data type to another. Like in example, here we have one double variable d which has the value 4.5. And then we are using the cast notation where the data type is inside the parenthesis and the expression is outside the parenthesis. And this way we are converting the double data type to one integer data type. Next we are going to talk about the function notation where the data type is outside the parenthesis and the expression goes inside the parenthesis. And this way we can explicitly convert from one data type to another. Like in example, here we have one double variable d which has a value 4.5. Now we are using the function notation where the data type is outside the parenthesis and the expression is inside the parenthesis. And this way we are converting from double data type to one integer data type. So this is the way we can use the different type conversion methods to convert from one type to another. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.